to share with us a tip about how to discover our values. I too believe that when your values are clear, our decisions are so much easier. And so what would you say, um, not to give it all away of what you're going to talk about today, but what would you share of like, how can a woman Latina who's watching or también Latino, uh, how can they clarify? What would be like a first step? Now that's a, an, an intricate question and a very, very uh, thoughtful and thought-provoking question. What comes to mind to me is certainly what is a value? A value is that central should, that central ought. Women should, men should, children should, and it's all the shoulding we do that on each other, S-H-O-U-L-D. Yeah, yeah. and, and, and it's too much, and it's really to say, well, in the culture, the Latino culture, we have various cultures, but we do have all the same kind of core values. And looking at those values, because values drive our behaviors, and those values are like humilidad, being humble. And that's a beautiful, quality and value and our behaviors are that we're gracious that we we take care of the prójimo the next fellow that we save face that we allow ourselves not to be intrusive and take over however that that's the the asset the liabilities that may be seen as you don't have your own voice you don't care to take a lead role you don't so yes you want to get into what those values are and the way to do it is to know at home what was right what was deemed wrong what is the way that you were formed within that culture and you have maybe multiculturals that you learn differences from and to embrace those but appreciate they all have assets and again depending where you are if you're not in an organization that has cultural high intelligence or like we say emotional intelligence or with people that you work with it can work to your detriment and so you have to be vigilant to then get into those values appreciate what your culture brings see what you were taught it's like that right and wrong that's yeah. where your values come from in other words, if you look at what you say is the most important thing for you and you list them, you will know. And then something like you say, family, taking care of myself spiritually. Uh, another, and the wheel of life only gives you so much 360, either way you look at it. How do you apply that portion of yourself into those values of what's important to you, what you think should be happening? And when you get off kilter, and you will, how do you balance that? That's my, the, my short and, and long of it. <laughs> yeah. That was a very beautiful response. And, and yes, you need to grab a piece of paper. This, we, we all think we all know our values, but really the key is to grab that piece of paper and put pen to paper and really write down. And you just asked a qu key question is, what's important to me about my family? What's important to me? And just keep digging and digging. And then you begin to like tap into that core values. And here's a shortcut to answer that question. If there were six things that if they were taken away, f away from me from tom tomorrow and then were suddenly given back to me the next day, I would be eternally grateful. You've just keyed in on what are the five or six most important things that ground you and give you those values and what those values are, be it family, your children, my education, my freedom, right? My passion, yeah. my... Th that's how you yeah. will know what those yeah. are. Like, what do you think stops us and what can we do to break through that an example of being humble and I shouldn't want to push that should that yes. value I might be intrusive I don't know enough um, I'm uncomfortable all those things are your own internal barriers that you have to uh, dance with those demons I don't say fight them dance with them invite them very Latina way of saying it to the party and say we're going let's go and bring all those things with you take them to the mix and test your waters yeah. each time a little more maybe you bring you come with a friend and then you both network and then you ask someone well, would you virtually introduce me I've done that a lot I've had people do it for me so that you can connect digital digitally um, in this new age yes. so all of those are just ways to just say come on okay I hear what you're saying and it's all you talking to yourself but we're going let's go party and you have to push that comfort zone because you're learning and I think most you know we're social beings it happens the learning happens there but it's on the fringes where we're most discomfort where most discomfort finds you is where you will have the stretch and your growth